with all the violence going on in the world, I'd like to send this message. Shoot pucks, not people. It is the equivalent message that is, hockey fans, we've been preaching for years. Yep. Um, the violence, especially in our city in Milwaukee, has risen dramatically since COVID. Yep. And it is sad, horrible, makes me want to move, sadly, um, for my family's sake. And uh, it's it's tough on everybody, but we make it work. Yeah. <laughs> we find a way to make it work. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here, one second. Why we're here is to wrap up the Florida Everblades season. We're here because the Florida Everblades on the season are... They played 69 games. Two of them, or three of them, were canceled due to COVID. So they did not have time to make them up, which is understandable. It happened towards the end of the season. Yeah. Um, but they finished with a 42 19 5 and 3 record for 92 points, with a win percentage of 0.667, winning them the. Let me see if Eastern I Eastern Conference that. title as well as. Hey, got a second. Winning them the Barhab Cup title for the regular season. Um, also, kudos in our last video. I forgot to um, say this. Aaron Luchuk won, won Sportsmanship of the Year award. That is amazing to him, as well as the first teams were announced. First and second teams were announced. Uh, the ECHL all first team are Jake Hildebrand, Samuel Jardine, Alez Lancaster of the Allen Americans, Samuel Jardine plays for the Greensville Swamp Rabbits, Anthony Beauregard for the Wichita Thunder, Aaron Luchuk, yet again, kudos, um, and our captain, John McCarron, our all yep. first team. Second team. Second team uh, is Evan Butenhaus. He uh, played a little bit for the Everblades, um, but then they released him. Um, uh, we have Matt Register of the Allen Americans, Dean Stewart. Uh, Tyler Coulter, Peter Quinville, and Cole Uly. Uh Peter Quinville plays for the Rapid City Rush. Uh, so does uh, Tyler uh, Cluter, Coulter. Cluter? I don't know. Uh, Dean Stewart plays for the Wichita Thunder, and Cole Uly plays for the South Carolina Stingers. Um, congratulations to all of them um, with, nice. the, with the jump this year. Um, and ECHL players making it to the NHL, which this year's been more than ever. Yeah. Um, that is amazing. Um, also, I would like to add in uh, the Henry Barhab Trophy, who co founded the ECHL in 1988 89, which had five teams in four states. Um, at the time, uh, Barhab, uh, uh, amongst his passing, was in in 2008 was uh, inter introduced, uh, inducted. I'm sorry, inducted into the ECHL Hall of Fame in 2008 and the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2010. Um, last season, the Barhab Trophy was not awarded, but in time, the Florida Everblades have won it. They won it in 1999, 2000, <coughs> 08-09, and this year. They would have won it last year had it been awarded. They were actually a top of the league. But they also won it in 2017, 2018. The leader in that team, of that team was Stephen Lorenz, who is currently playing with the Carolina Hurricanes. 
the playoffs. So let's get into our team. Our team this year, like we had a 60% win record, 60.9% win record, um, had uh, six OT wins, five OT losses, three shootout wins, two uh, and three shootout losses. Scored 38 goals on the power play compared to 207, uh, 247 power plays. Yeah. And, uh, not bad, not great. Um, penalty kill, they stopped 250 of 294, given the amount of teams they played. Not bad either. No, not bad at all. Um, they had an 85% uh, penalty kill and a 15% power play, 15 shorthanded goals. That is the stat right there. 15 yeah, shorthanded goals. All right. Stat wise, your top five are just, it, it, it's nuts. All right, so you got John McCarron with 31 goals, 37 assists, 68 points, a plus 29, 96 penalty minutes, and 223 shots on goal. Yeah. Um, then you have Alex Kyle, 25 goals, 26 assists, 51 points, plus 23. Joe Pendenza made it into the top five with uh, 30, 63 games played, 18 goals, 30 assists, 48 points, plus one. Michael Hilterberger did not have the greatest season this year, um, given um, the stat I'm just about to add. So he did have good numbers, but there's a stat in here that I don't like. All right, so he had 24 goals, 22 assists, 46 points, and a minus 10. Miles Powell. Miles Powell had 46 games played, 18 goals, 25 assists, 46 points, a plus 6. Blake Winicky, uh, 56 games played, 19 goals, 21 assists, 40 points. Lico <laughs> Cooper. Cooper has either... One of the greatest games or other games where he shoots the puck where it looks like he whiffs and it just slides slowly. Um, he had uh, 63 games played, 14 goals, 18 points, and a plus 17. Hugo Wah. 43 games played, 8 goals, 9 assists, 17 points. Cameron Hebig. Yeah. That's how much damage Cameron Hebig did at the beginning <laughs> of the season. Five goals, 12 assists, 17 points. And a zero plus minus. That is nuts. Yeah. All right. Luke Nogard. Uh, 36 games played, six goals, eight assists, 14 points. Marcus Vila. 29 games played, 5 goals, 4 assists, 9 points, plus 3. Michael Neville, 32 games played, 1 goal, 3 assists, plus 4. Or plus 2, sorry, plus 2. Zach Salo, newest guy to the roster. Uh, 9 games played, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 points, and an even plus minus. Kyle Newber. Kyle Newber, 31 games played, 1 goal, no assists. Minus five, 95 penalty minutes. Ooh. The only guy close to that is John McCarron with 96. <laughs> but in 31 games, 95 penalty minutes. All righty. Here we go, because this is interesting. Defenseman. Defenseman, was, your leader was Colby Sissons after being assigned here. About midway through the season, he played yeah. 42 games, <clears throat> six goals, 22 assists, 28 points, plus two. Logan Rowe, 67 games played, six goals, 20 assists, 26 points, plus 28. Yeah. Stefan LeBlanc, 52 games played, four goals, 20 assists, 24 points, plus 27. Cody Saul. All aboard the Soul Train. 
<laughs> uh, 56 games played, four goals, nine assists, 13 points, plus 17, and 117 penalty minutes. Yeah. He likes to scrap it up, I'll tell you. Yeah. Cody Sowell easily made it on to one of my favorites on the team. Uh, Michael Downing, 30 games played, one goal, 66, seven points, plus one. Cole McDonald, 43 games played, seven assists, plus nine. Arvin Atwal. If you're wondering why Arvin Atwal is not playing, watch this. 23 games played, two goals, five assists, seven points, uh, plus two, and 114 penalty minutes. And just 23 games. Yikes. All right. Then we got Ben Masala. needed. Yeah, Ben Masala. Ben Masala's played 10 games, six assists, minus one. Zach Berzola, new to the team. He came in eh, about a month left. Yeah. Um, 15 games played, one goal, two assists, three points, plus five, 37 penalty minutes. He does like to scrap it up. We, me and John have both yeah, said that about him. Uh, <laughs> we got Jordan Sampra, two assists, minus two, two penalty minutes. Now to the fun part. Goalies. I like the goalies. Hey, you can't go wrong with these two. These two have manned the pipe most of the year after Cam Johnson's departure to Cleveland. Cam Johnson yeah. came out with a 6-0 and record this year for the Everblades, and Cleveland came calling, and uh, so did the Blue Jackets. And um, when you get an option to play at that level, you take it. No yeah, matter, yeah. Yeah, you know, no matter what, um, even with a COVID year, it is one-year contract, so he could come back to the Everblades afterwards. Don't know. Depends on what they decide to do and what he decides to do. Right. All right. So this year, the main stat in the nut was Jake Hildebrand. Jake Hildebrand has 23 wins with a 2.40 goals against average of 0.923 save percentage, 10 losses, two OT losses, three shootout losses, two shutouts. Not bad. No. Devin Cooley, rookie season, kind of giving him some slack here, but he went 12 and 7. Uh, 12, 7, and 2. So, with a... Hey, young goalies got to get their confidence up, you know? Yep. Um, and uh, he had a I goal. was a young goalie at one point. I know how that went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember it, too. It wasn't exactly that fun. No. Taking extra practices, working extra harder, showing up after games to skates. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, he had a 2.95 goals against average, also won goalie of the month once, and, and so did Jake Hildebrand, as well yeah. as Cam Johnson did as well for the Everblades. So the Everblades actually had three different goalies win goalie of the week and one and goalie of the month. So uh, with that, he also had a save percentage of 91.1. Not bad for your rookie year. Right. I've seen worse. <clears throat> Chet oh, yeah. Pickard. <laughs> Chet Pickard was a goalie who had no confidence at all. Mm. But with that being said, the Everblades did win the league title, the division title, and clinched themselves home ice throughout the playoffs. With that being said, that's an impressive season. Our first year of full coverage give it COVID last year. Otherwise, last year would have been a half season of coverage. Yeah. But um, next year, just a little note on, uh, on the uh, programming for the Everblades. Yes. Okay. If the Everblades play on a night where we have three games, we will be doing a weekly recap of every team anyway. Yeah. Uh, that game will get filtered into the weekly recap, given that we have a hectic schedule of covering three teams. We will have the Admirals and Predators and the Everblades. So Everblades fans, don't 
feel bad, but know that our mainstay of our fan base are these two, and I gotta keep these two happy or I'm in trouble. <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> right. Um, but no, we joke, we joke. Uh, we like to have a lot of fun, you know. Um, obviously, we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't enjoy it. Of course. And uh, it, this was a lot of fun, but I will tell you, there were times where I turned off games just to watch Everblade games because it was bad. In the beginning yeah. of the season, I would just turn them off, turn off Fred's games and turn on the Everblades games. And, and you know, thank you also because this may not be known to everyone, and we didn't say this out at the beginning of the season. But thank you, Florida, because. You know, yes. your guys' as fans and and the uh, and, and the game itself, it's really easy to cover the game, but getting the fans to like you, that's hard. Yeah. Thanks all the Everblades fans yes. and their, or, their organization, because I'm going to tell you right now, if only the Preds played, we wouldn't have been doing nothing this year. We would have took the year off. Yeah. We would have just took the year off. And and the, when the uh, ECHL came in, I'm like, um, at the time we had uh, Chris on the show, and uh, yeah, uh, I turned to him and I go, ECHL, better than nothing. You know, at the time that was our our perspective. Then when we came in, it was better than everything. <laughs> right. What a ride. <laughs> you know, because um, you guys really helped our YouTube take off. You guys really helped yes. with us, our Facebook. Um, your fans are really nice. Hi, Tommy and Sue. Sue. Um, you know, uh, me and Tommy, we chat all the time. And uh, Tommy, I'll be chatting with you soon. Um, I'm, we're hoping, I'm hoping to find a way to get some money together to come on down for a game while we're on a road trip. It would be nice. Uh, well, the Admirals yeah. are on the road, maybe in the west or east. Um, make it a little easier on us to go make those trips. Because uh, if they're home, we unless we're going to Nashville, it's uh, and even Nashville's a stretch. We try to go when they're on the road, right? You know, because and even that, you know, we're we're trying to get back there as well. Uh, John's never been, so we're gonna try and get down there and, and enjoy. I mean, I've been to Nashville, but never to uh, Bridgestone. No, um, and uh, so this year, uh, during the off season, since we are doing the wrap up, just gonna give you guys some tidbits on what we're doing. We're going to break down every NHL team's um, current roster. Um, the last team being Seattle. Yeah. The reason why? Well, we gotta give them time to get through the draft, the expansion draft, and free agency. So yep. they're gonna be the the last team we do um, and give me time to get more merch. Um, the other thing is um, we're going to add into those videos our favorite all-time player. Um, we're going to add in um, a little bit of what they could do better or what they did wrong. Yeah. Um, some of those things kind of play into everything. Um, and that includes Nashville. We're going to work. Nashville's on that list. Yep. So uh, keep keep an eye out. Uh, Carolina's on that list. Every team's on that list. Um, we're not going to do AHL and ECHL teams. That's a little bit of a stretch. Yeah. But our first one's dropping of this series uh, Wednesday or Thursday, depending on uh, our scheduling of what we've got going on. Me and him are going to get together and work out a schedule once a week, probably drop one of these. Yeah, um, going all the way to free agency, I think. Um, and then we're going to take a two week break at the start of free agency from those. And um, what we're going to do else, arenas, logos, jerseys. We're going to get, we're going to rank them unbiasedly. Right. Sad to say, they're not going to be number one, but. They might. <laughs> nah. Um, and uh, that does not that includes their home and away. Alternates are no go. Not nah. every team has an alternate. No. Nope. Reverse retros. We might dive into that. 
Yeah. The reverse retros would be fun. Right. Um, would. ranking those. I know there's a lot of rankings for them, but um, I thought it was really cool. Uh, so with that being said, we also are pro are going to be doing our weekly update on the Preds, Admirals, and Everblades during the summer as well. Yep. Just try to get one video a week where we we blurt out everything we do know and right. <laughs> Sometimes that means digging into the rumor mill, which is scary, yeah. but remember, when we say it, we're not saying it as if we say it didn't come from the Preds or one of their beat writers or a, lo a liable source, then we're saying it's a rumor. And if we're saying right. it's a rumor, don't tie into it. Yeah. And don't say we said it was backed. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We, of when course we come not. With stats and we try to be the most factual thing we can do. Right. Um, with that being said, we are really looking forward to the upcoming entry level draft. We are looking forward to the Everblades playoffs. We are looking forward to the new content. Yep. Um, and uh, well, hopefully, uh, looking forward to announcing a Stanley Cup winner. Right. At some point. Um, um, and Cali Cup. We could be dancing around our houses with fedoras on. <laughs> um, but no, I kid. Uh, we, uh, the Everblades do well in the playoffs. It'll be a good year. Preds and Everblades both made the playoffs. So right. call that this season a thumbs up. Now, if they win the Calder, or the Cali Cup, Cali Cup, not Calder Cup, that wasn't awarded this year. No. NHL. For two years in a row, you don't award your championship. Blech. Um. Anyway, um. With that, if they win it, our first full season, y'all got to keep us full time. <laughs> 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 but no, nah, um, we're here as long as you're our affiliate. Um, much like Nashville's here as long as they're the Admirals affiliate. Right. Um, we may have to go through a rebrand at some. Point. I hope never. I like oh, the way. Right. It, I hope not, but I do like the way things are. It's worked out well for both organizations. Just look at this season, right? And look at what we do for you guys. We gave you guys Coolidge. You know, you know, we're probably gonna send more for the playoffs if guys are willing to go, right? You know, so um, a lot of guys did go home. I, I could understand why with COVID and all being away from your family of and course. everything is. It's really important that you get back to those things because it, it is a shortened off season. Yeah. So again, a shortened off season. Well, not one where you're locked in your house, then you get to come out to go play hockey in front of nobody and then go back right. into quarantine. You go back into quarantine just to go to a training camp that's a week long to go into a full season. Yeah. Let's get back to normal here. Because I'll right. tell you right now, a full training camp is necessary. Yes. That's coming from two former players. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I was on, uh, when I played, and we started. We started in October, November, around there in high school. And the, I was back, I was already on the ice by July. I was already back on the ice by July. Yeah. It was just, and I was a goalie. Right. So I was already back on the ice by July. So it's just one of those things. I do miss playing. I hope to get a beer league, get in a beer league someday, but eh, goalie equipment's expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just want to get back on skates, really. Yeah, me it. too. I miss it. Me too. Uh, but Thank you to everybody. Thank you to the Admirals, Predators, and Florida yes. Blades. You guys have all made this season very successful for us. We've had our largest growth in uh, subscribers on YouTube in three years this year. Um, yep. We also had a slight drop in uh, likes and follows compared to other years. But I understand it with COVID, and we're kind of peaking out a little bit. So we're changing how we do things. Right. So. Just to give you guys a little bit of news, also, um, John, uh, you run our Instagram. Yes. Uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville on Instagram. 
Um, we both have Twitter uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville. You can type it in. There's two pages. Um, one says co-host. The other one's just from Milwaukee to Nashville. Co-host is John. I am yeah. the, uh, the other one. And uh, we run the day-to-day -day on those. So for any other news that we may not talk about on camera, you may find those. Uh, and our Instagram does not always have all hockey. Sometimes I throw in a little extra from other sports of cute things or, you know, amazing things, highlights. But, uh, yeah, check it out. Um, also, uh, for you Milwaukee fans, the Bucks fell to the net today. The Brewers won seven to five. So the Brewers won seven to five. And uh, so uh, with that, we'll be chatting with you guys later. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We'll see you later on the week.